All right, guys. So today I'm going to go through and walk you through a few of the, of the, uh, the bit of the math of the stuff that we did. Um, well, today is yesterday, but for you guys probably watching, it might be um, day before yesterday, but that's okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you guys through the steps of figuring out um, how to how to get all this information, right? So I'm going to take, say, the tallest tree that we looked at uh, yesterday outside was the big Douglas fir that's about 100 feet tall. And we're going to take, um, we're going to say it's, it's, um, its circumference was about um, 36 inches, okay, which is the equivalent of three feet. Hey, and so um, now I can take this here. Now I have 100 feet for every every one foot. There's 12 inches. So I'm going to say it's 1,200 inches. Okay, the way I could do that is I could just go like this where I get my calculator. So I take 100, not point 100, so 100 times 12 okay, equals 1,200 inches. Okay, so then that way I have both these numbers here. So that way I have it in inches and feet. Okay, so this is the little sign for feet. This is the sign for inches. Okay, so what it's saying is find the diameter at breast height of your tree. Okay, so um, we start using the equation, right, that diameter is equal to circumference over pi. Okay, so I'm going to take this here. Okay, so at this time it's going to be in inches, so I'm going to use my inches number. So, um, so we say that the circumference, which was 36 inches, okay, divided by pi. Okay, so now I put that on my calculator. So I say 36 inches divided by pi equals is 1.45. So about one. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and go with 11.5 because 0.4, right? Five isn't it has to be above five or below five, and so the next one over goes up. So I'm going to do 11.5. Okay, equals 11.5 inches. Okay, is the diameter at breast height. Okay, so I'm going to write this off to the side here. It's my diameter is equal to 11.5 inches. Okay, so that's the first part. It's always nice when the when the lights turn off. So, okay, so now life seems to be better now. The lights have now turned back on, so everything's golden. Okay, so now I want to find the radius. Okay, radius, and I'm going to do this in inches. So I'm still going to be using this inches number. Okay, so. Um, all right, so I know that radius is equal to diameter divided by two. All right, so this is my first, right, this is my second equation. I use that guy there, and now I'm using this guy here. Okay, so now I'm going to take this number, which is the diameter, which is 11.5 divided by two. Okay, so I put that in my trusty little calculator. All right, so 11.5 divided by two equals 5.75. Okay, so... The radius is going to be 5.75 inches. Okay, it's going to be my radius. Okay, so that's my second number there. So now it says, right, convert the inches to feet. Okay, so now, right, I'm going to do a little what is called stoichiometry, but it's the same idea. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it's 5.75 inches. Right, so. I know that for every one foot, there are 12 inches. Okay, so I want to keep those together. Oops, so wrong side. So for every, right, there are 12 inches because I want inches and inches to cancel. Divide by one foot. Okay, so now my answer is no longer going to be in inches. It's now going to be in feet. So I take 5.75 divided by 12. Okay, so 5.75 divided by 12, oops, 5.75 divided by 12 equals, so that's 0 0.08, 0 0.83 is just 0 0.08, that's 0 0.08 feet, okay, so that's how I know, right, uh, the radius, right, if we were going to be doing this in feet, which makes sense because, right, um, that, um, that number we're going to go through here. So, right, we know the circumference was three divided by pi, which is going to be smaller. And so, right, so just as a kind of a double check to kind of show you what we're doing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate area. Okay, so area is equal to pi r squared. Okay, so this is our third equation. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do, um, this time, right, I want to calculate the area. We'll go ahead, we'll do it in feet. Okay, so we'll go ahead and use this one here. Okay, so point zero eight, and we'll put that in the parentheses so it's easier to see, because okay, this is radius. Okay, I want to square that times pi equals. Okay, so I'm going to leave that in my calculator so it's the most accurate squared times pi equals. Okay, so the area is 0 0.02 feet. 0 0.02 feet. Okay, so that's that's the area. Okay, so of each uh, each cross section. So basically, this sucker is 100 feet tall, but it's really skinny. Okay, it's three feet around, which is not a very big tree. Okay, so the circumference is going to be 0 0.02 feet cubed, okay, because it's going to have a length times width times height. Okay, so now calculate the volume of your tree. Okay, so the volume of the whole thing is going to be equal to pi r squared, which is the area of the circle, times however tall it is. Okay, so in this case, we know that uh, our tree is 100 feet tall times 100 feet. Okay, this here is, right, because I have this guy right here already in feet, right? So point zero 0.02 times 100. Okay, so now I'm basically I'm taking this answer here and I'm going to put it in here just timesing it by the height. Okay, so now I take that guy times it by 100 equals... Okay, so basically, it's now going to be 2.2, 2, right, um, volume of the tree trunk, right, so feet cubed. Right, so now, right, so you look at that and you say, that's not a whole lot. You're right, because the, right, the area of the whole thing is only 0 0.02 feet. Now, if we were doing this in inches, we'd, right, if we want to take this guy and multiply into inches, okay, we'd go through and we'd say, this is in feet. We'd say, or that times 12. Okay, so now you'd end up with 26.2 inches cubed. Okay, it's all the same thing, so that's the volume. Okay, so in the last section, what we're going to do here is we're going to take this and we're going to figure out board feet. Okay, so we're going to take this answer here, which is 26.2. Okay, so we're going to take this whole thing. We're going to divide it by 4. Okay, because what's going to happen is the tree is round, okay, but they're going to need to make planks that are square. Okay, and some of that space is going to get lost. Okay, so basically that sec that little section here will get lost. That little section there is going to get lost. Okay, and so basically we're only going to take these four sides. Okay, so now I take that, divide by four. Equals. So now we're down to 6.5. Okay, and so now remember it's in terms of uh, square. Okay, so we're going to go through, we're going to multiply this by 12. Okay, so when we get done, oh, no, no, hold on, no, divide 26.2 divided by 4 equals, okay, so we end up with 6.55 board feet, all right, so now as we go here, so the last part of it, okay, so I'm getting all this stuff from here, so we divide it by 4, Okay, the result by tw multiplied by 12 because there are 12 board feet and a cubic board feet. Okay, so um, we'll take that and we'll multiply it by 12. Okay, so 6.5 times 12. Okay, so we end up with 78.6 board feet. Okay, so the steps of that, right, we divide by 4 and we multiply that by 12. Is 12 by 12. Um, so on the back side, back side is just a little bit more, uh, more of the same type of information. So this is just 
right? Why did the distance from from you to the tree equal the height of the tree, right? Remember when we looked at the picture, here I'll grab one of those so I can show you, right? When we looked at the picture, when we started, this guy, okay, so we knew how far we were away. Okay, this is basically making a right, right triangle. So we're using proportions, right? That this over here would be equal to that. So if we drew like a big square all the way around it, that's how we know the distance we see is going to be how far we are away. Okay, so basically it's just proportions, right? So I'll light one out again, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and take uh, these off here. There you go. Okay, so now, right? So next question, right? Suppose that you had a 6,000 board feet, uh, board feet of lumber to build a house with a floor plan of blah, blah, blah. how many trees would be needed to build this house if they're all the same size as the tree that you measured. Okay, so then what I would do, sorry about that, I, had to, I need to have the, so basically here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to your paper. Okay, so now this house took up 78.6 board feet. Okay, so now what this question two is asking you, right? Right. It takes 6,000 board feet okay, of lumber to build a house with a floor. Blah, blah, blah. This doesn't really matter. That doesn't help. That doesn't matter at all. It's just there just to kind of show you about how big this house would be. How many trees would be needed to build this house if they were the same size as the tree that you did? Okay, so basically what we have is 78.6. Okay, 78.6 board feet times something is going to equal 6,000. Okay, so now here's what I want to do. So we'll just go X. Okay, so 78.6 times something is going to give me 6,000. Okay, so to get rid of this, right, so basically I'm going to take 6,000. I'm going to divide by 78.6. I'm going to do it the other way, but... 78.6, so I'll divide 6,000 by 78.6. Okay, so, so I take 76,000 divided by 78.6 equals. Okay, so what it's showing me is that it would take about 76 trees, okay, give or take. Okay, so I can say how many trees? It would take me 76 trees, just like the ones that I saw and measured to build that house. Hey, a lot, in other words. Okay, so, um, hey, and that's kind of, basically that's all you're doing is you're taking your answer from number seven and you're plugging it into that and you're saying that times some number is going to give me 6,000. Okay, and so this just kind of gives you an idea how many trees it takes to build your house. Okay, that's the whole point behind this whole thing. So, right, this right here, we're just going to talk about the error, right? What mistakes could you have made, right? So things like, were you sure that you took that number of steps? Did you measure your feet, right? Where, did, where you saw it, did you exactly walk from there? Right, that type of stuff is really all that question's asking you for. Um, so this question here, that you need to just read in your textbook where it talks about these different certifications, right? How do we know that there are standards for your lumber, making sure the lumber is good, that type of thing. So uh, read about that and I think it'll help you. So um, if you have any questions, you guys can always text me. Um, I don't have my phone today, but I will check it. So remember that number is 81010 at Dressel ES for environmental science. So D-R-E-S-S-E-L-E-S. -S -E -S. Okay. Thanks again for watching.